Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. A lot of you have been asking, Mr. Hino, hey, how are you able to get so much robotic resources and you know equipment for your class? All those Mindstorms kits, all those expansion kits. And you're right, I do have lots of resources for my students. Number one, I do have a lot of students. But anyway, I do have a very generous district that's devoted to STEAM and pushing us forward, you know, as far as technology. But I'm also doing something to generate a lot of money for resources for my class outside of my district. Stay with me to find out what that is. Okay guys, I'm gonna be talking about how I can, how I generate money every year for my classes. It's not money for me, you know, for me personally, it's for me to just spend on my robotics classes. The only thing I can speak to is California. I'm not sure how different it is from state to state, but here is the magic way that I get tons of money every year for my classes. It is right here. It is CTE. If you guys don't know what that stands for, it is Career Technical Education. I have a credential in CTE, and basically what that does is the state of California, and I'm sure if you check into your state, there's a CTE credential for your state too. I just not, I'm not sure about the qualifications. But once you have that preliminary credential, and then you know you, you're gonna have to clear this credential too and I'm in the process of clearing it right now. But just when I got my preliminary credential, in fact, my principal asked me to get it because he knew that it, once I got that credential, all this money was gonna start coming to me to spend on my classes that the district or the school did not have to pay for. So basically, I'm getting thousands of dollars every year to spend on my robotics classes. So let's dive into a little bit more of it. Okay guys, so the magic acronym again is Career Technical Education. It is a credential, for those of you that teach, it's a credential you can get. And basically, you know, simply put, as soon as you get this credential, it starts off as a preliminary credential and, then, and you have to clear it. You get money from the state to spend on your classroom, your students, the equipment or resources that you're gonna need. So. You know, again, my district is super, super generous. Um, they bought, I think it was $80,000 worth of the Lego Mindstorms kits and everything that we needed to get our robotics program rolling. But my principal asked me to get this career technical education credential because he knew the money would be coming from the state. And that's money now that the district doesn't have to give me, the school does not have to give me. This is money coming from the state to spend on my students to keep whatever I get forever, as long as I need it and as long as, you know, it doesn't break. So here's the amount. This year, from the state of California, I received $3,861.55 to spend on my students. Getting more Lego Mindstorms EV3 kits, um, getting more expansion kits. You guys know I teach a robotics two class. I bought more VEX um, robotics last year. Those of you that know that Spike Prime is coming out. I bought 11 kits of the Lego Spike Prime with this money. And you know, if everything goes right, knock on wood, I should get this amount next year. So you know, next year, if a whole lot of computers go out, I have this money now to just go, hmm, what does my class need? that, you know, the district, I don't have to go begging from them or the school, I can get this money. It's from a Perkins account. Um, so those of you that have, uh, will do any research on career technical education, the money comes from a Perkins allotment. So here's how this works. The state gives me a certain amount of money per section or per class. So I have teacher friends at the high school, they teach, you know, a, a medical elective they're using their money to buy medical supplies. 
But if they're only teaching one period, then they might get a certain amount of money. I teach five classes, so that amount gets multiplied by five to come up to this amount. So it's just one of those things where it's just gold every year that I can count, hopefully, again, knock on wood, to get this money to go, wow, what else does my class need to supplement the robotics class? So for those of you that are looking for, you know, just we need more supplies, we need more material, we need this or that for the class, this is a quick and easy way. Well, I shouldn't say quick. Um, because I've been teaching for so many amount of years, um, to get this CTE credential, uh, a lot of those, you know, hours of experience were covered because I've been teaching so long. Um, there's also classes that I have to take um, to supplement this credential. But once you get it, you get it. And for teachers, those of you that are looking to get up to the, you know, the pay scale to get those classes also help. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Mr. Hino gets more money in my salary. I get more money for my classes. And it's just, I, I wish I had done this before, but you know, that just, that just happens with information. So I'm giving you guys the information so you can start to maybe look into this. And for those of you that have the time, the money and the effort to put in to get this money can try to get this. You guys can throw me any more questions you might have on this career technical education uh, credential. Um, I'll try to answer it. I'm not a, an expert at every state, so I'm not sure if I would be able to answer all your questions, but it's a really great way for me to get money for my classes. Okay, guys? I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. He's out.